It was good. I was I had a show in South Jersey somewhere. It was one of Elvia Elvia's clubs in South Jersey. Mm-hmm. Um, and I had to perform, and this was like at the height of Pump It Up. Okay. Um, so I was super super late for this performance mm-hmm. in Jersey, my hometown. So when I walked in, it's a sold out crowd, like Aggie, because yep. I'm late. They chanted my name, man. Shit, I should have been on forty minutes ago, and I wasn't. So it's not, I'm, it's not bad. By so rap, I'm looking rap to time. I'm looking to run in. Just get something to drink and hit the stage. I go to my dressing room or somewhere in there, and Kanye is there, and he says, "Yo, do you mind if I could if I could rock just before you go out?" Yeah. I said, "Nigga, no." Were you aware? Uh, were no. you aware of who he was at all? He was Kanye. Producer Kanye. Producer Kanye. Yeah, right, but like right. this was Dynasty Kanye or Blueprint Kanye. It didn't matter what Kanye it was. <laughs> I'm here to do a service, <laughs> yeah. and this crowd is Aggie, yeah. and I wouldn't even do that to you. I'm just asking I wouldn't what even, time I wouldn't was. even do that to you right now. Yeah. The crowd is screaming Joe, and you don't have a record anybody knows. Mm-hmm. This just isn't a great idea. I understand yeah. that for sure. Yeah, I'm, like, not I'm, sure. doing, I'm doing a favor for you. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure that went over so well with him. But. Did you guys ever talk about it again? No. Okay. No, no need to. Listen, once you uh, ascend the way he did, you don't need to refer to anything that happened before. Niggas just know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, you don't, we don't have you to... Fucked you, you, you know, fucked up. You know I what know you did, up. and you know who I am, yeah. and that's the end of that. And you think somebody is on... Look at me. Hitting the fucking mic again. Damn! My ducks. My swans. Welcome to the pod. My name is Dorian from group82music.com. Right here, we got Joe Budden talking about how he passed on signing Kanye West. I've told y'all this story numerous times. If you don't know Kanye's story and you're in the music business, you need to go look it up. This just goes to show you how when you are seeking validation from other people, they're not going to give you what you want. And a lot of y'all are on social media doing that. You send people your DMs, you spam comment sections. Every single Facebook ad that we run, it gets spammed with niggas links for their YouTube and their Spotify. I delete every single one of them motherfuckers. Nobody's clicking that shit, that's not how you're gonna get fans. Every day when I wake up, I check my DMs. I got music videos and songs in my DMs. I'm not clicking that shit, I'm not watching it, I don't care. You got somebody like Kanye West, one of the greatest artists of all time was rapping for niggas backstage at concerts. A nigga like Joe Button, and Joe Button didn't care. He wasn't listening to that shit. Like Joe Button said, you don't have a song out that anybody knows. I got my biggest single out right now. Why would I listen to what you got to say? What could you possibly do for me? How could you possibly make me some money? Like, what is it that you're going to do? Nothing. You have to prove you got value. You have to prove you have a brand. You have to prove you got fans, right? The reason a lot of y'all are listening to me is because you found my video on the Explore page. When you came to the Instagram page, you saw that I have a lot of videos. You saw that I got good engagement. That made you want to engage and watch more because you felt like if other people are paying attention to it, I must know what the fuck that I'm talking about. It's the exact same thing with your music. I'm not saying buy fake followers. I'm not saying to fake it till you make it. You have to prove that you can sell. You have to prove that people can make money with you. That's the only way someone's gonna pay attention to your shit. A lot of y'all DM me about business opportunities. Somebody DM me the other day talking about they want me to be a part of their social media marketing network. He couldn't explain that shit in any sort of lamest terms that entice me to want to do that. A lot of y'all say y'all want to help us. A lot of y'all say that I should shout you out and all this shit. What the fuck do I get out of doing that? There's no robbery in fair exchange. If you want me to use my platform to help you, you need to pay for that. You want me to be a part of a social media marketing network? You need to go through and tell me exactly what the benefits are of that. Y'all listen to our podcast, 82 Points of View with Dorian. We have some pretty good guests on there. Those guests got big followers. A lot of those guests are verified. When I approach them, I let them know what they're going to get for being on my podcast. It ain't just a fucking interview. I'm going to give you the full video. I'm going to give you the full audio. I'm going to give you micro content clips that you can use for your team. In addition to that, if you're on my podcast, you got any product or whatnot, I'm going to start following you and I'm going to start helping push your product to my audience. There's no robbery and fair exchange. That's why Joe Budden didn't listen to Kanye. That's why I don't be listening to you. And that's why motherfuckers ain't listening to your music or want to deal with your business. You have to understand what value am I giving the audience? When you give them value, they will stick around.
if you don't give them value, they're going to go to somebody else who is. How do you give them value? You got to build a brand. That's why you need a website. That's why you need a logo. That's why you need a social media strategy. All the stuff we talk about in our packages, in the one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, and even when we get you placed on Spotify playlists. Click that link in the bio if you're ready to give your audience value so they stick around so you can start making some real money. I'm out the pod. Y'all stay true.